Okay, welcome to another lunar flight video. In the previous video, we did a lost cargo and then a data survey. And we're still not at the point where we can afford upgrades yet. Let's go ahead and refuel the vessel and do a couple more missions. So let's go to the mission selector. Uh, looks like we have a lost cargo north of Bravo. So that's going to be somewhere over here. Let's see what the other one is. All right, hang on. Huh, that's weird. They have these, they almost always have the lost cargo on the fifth and sixth spot. Today it's transport, transport, data survey, lost cargo, lost cargo. We have never seen that. Okay, so that one's north of Bravo. This one is north of Delta. Uh, Delta's a bit closer to us, and it's kind of a straight line straight down Delta. So let's take that one. So accept. Go in here, turn on the transponder. Uh, we're all fueled up, ready to go. So let's actually also put Delta on the map. That way we have a easier target. All right, uh, everything's ready, so power up. Probably doesn't matter which way we rotate, but we'll go ahead and rotate clockwise. And we pretty much want to go straight towards Delta, more or less. Let's go ahead and back off the rotation here a little bit. And actually what I think I might do is I might fly through that canyon. Ah, still have a lot of V-rate. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put in just forward thrust here. Just translation only at the moment. And I kind of want to, I think what I want to do is just navigate through that canyon. I think this might be, I wonder if this is in the same location as that one that I couldn't find. And then unfortunately everything got reset and I couldn't fly that mission again but actually I think I might see the module the lost cargo I think it might be right there because the stones the boulders don't glitter but the lost cargo has a little bit of a glitter to it and it, it could just be the distance but from here that looks like it's glittering a little bit so yeah I think I'm just gonna navigate through the canyon But it could be up on the hill, we'll see. But since I see that little spot down there, I'm going to, I'm going to go there first. That's not exactly north of Delta, so that might just be a rock. But we'll see. Oops, I'm, hit, I'm trying to lock the power. I keep hitting the wrong button. There we go, now it's locked. I'll rotate this way a little bit. No, I think that is just a boulder. Okay. So, even so, I think I'm going to go ahead and navigate through the canyon anyway. It's just more fun, for one thing. But also, this will help me... I think at this point, I'm too far off of north. So I don't think it can be in this area, because it's... When it says north of Delta, it's pretty much a straight line with very little variance. Side to side, putting in some right translation to get more in line with Delta. And make sure we have enough thrust to climb up out of this canyon. And a little bit more forward thrust, but I don't want to put in too much because we are pretty close to Delta now. Velocity vector is clear of the canyon wall, so we're we're good because where the velocity vector is pointing, that's where we're going. So we're climbing up and out. And we're almost all the way to Delta now. So what I'll do, if we make it all the way to Delta before I get a blip on the transponder, I'll just go ahead and land at Delta. And then I'll fly straight north of Delta and look for the cargo. That'll give me an opportunity to refuel. Okay, I don't want to climb too much because Delta is going to be just on the other side of this canyon wall. Okay, 
yeah, let's just plan on touching down on Delta and, and refueling, and then we'll head out. I feel like this is the the same mission as the one from, like, before I did the reset, I think. And it was just, it was somewhere, like, north of Delta, and I never could find it. And then, unfortunately, if you exit and come back in or anything like that, everything is randomized, so you can't choose to fly the same mission again. All right, let's get our C camera locked in so we can get on target with the landing pad. Might as well refuel since we're so close. And now we just need to drop. We're about 150 meters out. Most of that is vertical distance. Go ahead and start zeroing out our V-rate or bringing it down a little bit because we are dropping pretty fast. All right, so we're almost at the Delta landing pad, very close. Start slowing things down a little bit in the horizontal direction so we don't overshoot. Getting an indicator there that we're moving too fast. But I feel comfortable at the moment. So we're over top of the landing pad now, slow things down, and just drop. And we're down. And we're down again. So let's refuel. And we're just going to go uh, straight back out. Let's rotate around. And I just want to fly a straight line north now. Watch my V-rate can be easy to get a really high V-rate. All right, so translating forward. So we know for sure the lost cargo was not down in that canyon off to the right. So let's see. So, oh, it could be in this canyon. In fact, it might be right there. But that's not really glittering, so that might just be a boulder. Let's, for now, let's just fly straight north. Yeah, I don't think it's that thing. Right. Kind of scraping the canyon walls here with our little landing pads. <laughs> Take a quick peek down here. Mm, not seeing it. We'll just continue going north. Could be up on those hills. Hmm. Nothing from the transponder yet. Yeah, that is one thing. If the lost cargo is a bit hard to find, I feel like the transponder... I don't know, I just, actually I just feel like the transponder is useless. Because <laughs> either you see it right away and it's an easy mission, or you can't see it right away. And then the transponder, by the time it beeps, you're already on top of the module. Could be down here in this field somewhere. That would make sense. Because that's a flat area, because they don't ever put it on the like the literal side of a hill. If your angle is too steep to support the the vessel, you know, that's... It has to be possible to land and pick it up. Okay, so let's keep going forward. Still nothing from the transponder. Take a quick look 
to the right or left. I'm not seeing it. We have enough vertical rate to get up over this hillside. So we're most of the way to Charlie now, so hmm. And we're flying like straight, straight, straight north. Pitch forward and take a look. Don't see anything, so I'm thinking it must be a bit more to the west, just slightly more to the west. Because I think there's a point where, and I think I'm past that point where if it were any farther north, then it wouldn't have said north of Delta, it would have said like south of Charlie. So I feel like, I feel like it just makes sense to turn around now. Go a bit this direction. I'm just going to translate a bit forward at the moment so I can go a bit more to the west because I want to fly the line back towards Delta. Let me check the mission again. Maybe I read it wrong. Nope, north of Delta. I read it right. Okay. So it could be on this line here, which is just slightly off to the west. Because it doesn't have to be like an absolutely perfect line north of Delta. It just needs to be like more or less north of Delta. All right, let's start turning back. All right, let's fly this line. Because there is a canyon here, so it could be down in this canyon. So let's zero out our V-rate and look forward. Not seeing anything and nothing from the nothing from the transponder yet either, so this one's definitely a little more tricky to find, but I enjoy it. A little bit of a scavenger hunt. Let me look down into the canyon again. So I feel like I need to fly down inside this canyon. To watch our velocities. <laughs> Slow things down a little bit because I do want to be able to descend down inside this canyon. Alright, I'm going to zero out the V-ray, and now I want to pitch forward and take a look. Yeah, I'm just not seeing it. I'm going to inspect this canyon, though. So I'm going to let the vessel kind of descend down in here. We have plenty of fuel. Uh, well, three fuel modules, I mean. So if I get low on fuel, I can refuel three times. Uh, actually, I can refuel one and a half times. Because each one of those is 500. Take a look down here. Definitely not seeing it. Alright, so I'm going to fly along this canyon here. Okay, so that's not the transponder, but that's telling me that I've reached the halfway point on my fuel. Oops. Watch my velocities. Okay, so... See, I'm just going to fly through this canyon and then back out the other side. And... 
north of Delta. That's what it said, right? North of Delta, yeah. So I've gone, I, I flew through this whole canyon, didn't find it. I flew straight north, like all the way to here, and now I'm coming back down. So I'm a bit perplexed. And this just illustrates the uselessness of the transponder. It's like, by the time you get the signal from the transponder, you're already on top of it. It's not down here. All right, so let me pitch a bit this way, or rather yaw over to this way. Then we'll get more in line with Delta. Translate a bit forward. Hmm, yeah, I'm not seeing it. And I've checked the mission like three times now, so I know it says north of Delta, so there's no way, you know, I'm flying in the wrong area. It definitely is in this area. Climb up out of this canyon. Again, I want to watch my V-rate. I do want to get up out of here, but I don't want my V-rate to be so high that, you know, I go way, way up. I guess maybe there's some small plateau up here. Because we'll see. Let me slow down my forward movement a little bit just to make sure I clear the canyon wall. Boy, that wall's looking awfully close. <laughs> Very tall. But I think we're I think we're clearing it now. I can see the cliff wall is starting to taper the other direction. I'm going to go ahead and refuel though. I don't want to have to do that at the last minute. Okay, so we're up out of the canyon. I mean, where could this thing be? I've looked everywhere that's north of Delta. I feel like I've looked everywhere that's north of Delta. And I've got nothing from the transponder all this whole time. Oh, I see it. It's right there. Right where the mouse cursor's at. Yeah, and of course the transponder still isn't indicating anything. Finally. But again, once again, like I found it long before. Well, maybe not long before, but I found it before the transponder gave me any indicator. Now I'm just using translation thrusters to get in line with the... Alright, so we're going to go a little bit over time on this mission, but let's just go ahead and finish this one up because it was so hard to find. Oh no, hit the wrong button. All right, yeah, we overshot our target because I'm fumbling the controls here a bit. A lot, actually. Right, let me just touch down here. Okay. All right, hover back up. Let me rotate over towards. I kind of use the ground as a bit of a cheat to help get me stopped. <laughs> All right, so there it is. So let's just move over there, pick it up, and get back to the base. 
wonder if it'll want us to return it to Charlie, because I think that's where we started out at. Okay, I'm not sure if we're close enough. Let's find out. Cargo? Not quite. Turn that off, though. Just get a bit closer. Still not close enough. Weird. There we are. Okay, recover it. And let's see where we have to go with this one. All right, so we're taking this to Alpha. So, all right, next. All right, so we're off to Alpha. So let's try to get over there fairly quickly since we're over the 20 minute mark on the video already. But Alpha's up there on top of that. <clears throat> Top of that hillside so put in some forward movement and a bit of translation to get more lined up in the direction that we actually need to go. Okay, I'm just putting in some more forward velocity because I do want to try to get over there reasonably quickly. I do think we'll end up using another fuel module though, so I'm just going to get one now. Let me see if I can get my roll back to a zero point. Okay. All right, so continue moving forward towards Alpha Base, then we'll unload our module, get a little bit more experience. Probably still won't have enough experience for those final upgrades, <clears throat> but we'll still need to refuel the ship and buy a couple additional fuel modules. All right, so we're moving forward at about six meters a second, I'm guessing. We're 300 meters out, so I'm gonna start slowing things down a little bit in terms of our forward movement. Make sure I keep the velocity vector up above the target so that I can come in from above. Start slowing down the forward movement. I'm actually gonna put in a bit of translation to the left as well, because I don't wanna have that antenna be in the way. And some back translation. I guess that antenna was never actually going to be a problem. All right, I'm overshooting. That sucks. So we have most of our movement pretty well zeroed out. So now I just want to, looks like we actually are still moving forward a little bit. So let me zero that out because I don't want to go forward too far because I overshot the target. Now I just want to yaw around or rotate around so I can see the landing target. I think it makes it a little bit easier for me. take out that yaw movement and start putting in translation in the direction that we actually need to be going. All right, we'll get over there. We're close. Just, I should have started slowing down sooner. I do that pretty often where I feel like I can break more quickly than I actually can. 
All right, we're almost there. So let's come in from above. So I'll keep the velocity vector a little bit above the target. Just a few more meters to go. Okay, now we can just pretty much settle in. So there's the half in, halfway indicator again on the fuel. Should be coming in over the pad here now. There it is, the indicator in the very center between your feet. So now break and settle down. All right, we're down. Let's refuel. Let's go to cargo. Let's unload the cargo. And we'll go shopping buy more fuel twice and no on that close on that trying to go through this a little quickly since we're so far over time and yeah we can't afford any more upgrades quite yet all right so that's going to wrap it up for this mission and then when we come back we'll do a few more video uh, do a few more missions just to try to get those final upgrades and then we'll take on mars once again so that's gonna be it for this one i will see you in the next lunar flight video if there is one